Hey, welcome. My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. If you want to see other tutorials, check links in the description. And if you want to uh, see more things about my projects, check links in the corner. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna see uh, how we can use Chrome Debug Tool to explore real-time values in uh, runtime uh, in my in our Cocos Creator uh, game. So this is extremely useful uh, feature uh, when you uh, developing your game and want to see uh, other options, other um, variables, methods, or runtime values uh, without using logging or anything. Just going to console and check everything from there. So this is a very useful thing and. I, I find it very very useful and valuable so logically a uh, lifesaver itself so um, normally you can go to documentation and uh, check everything from here uh, sometimes you cannot find uh, some features in documentation maybe hidden or maybe you want to customize things uh, in different way and so sometimes you cannot find information in our official documentation in Cocos Creator. So we have a chance to use JavaScript console to explore things. Uh, here uh, you remember uh, if you watch this video you remember this is the unlucky ragdoll guy falls down from very high altitudes. So if you want to uh, see how we uh, made this check link in the corner so I want to uh, explore uh, what can I do uh, with this uh, rigid body in real time uh, to uh, for example I want to uh, apply forces to the body and see the animation or see the result so uh, we need to add something to uh, be able to get the re uh, rigid body of this body part in real time so I will add a script here simply uh, debug body body okay I will drag and drop this script into a body part of this uh, guy and let's edit this script let's remove unnecessary things as always in the onload function I will define window dot um, tests body equals uh, this dot not dot get components cc rigid body. This will uh, make our uh, nodes rigid body uh, globalize in window component. Window co window uh, object is actually um, global object in JavaScript. So if you define something like this, you can uh, reach this uh, element, this uh, variable from anywhere in your script, in your game, actually not just a script. Uh, but you should be careful when defining this kind of values because you may uh, overwrite uh, some very important stuff. So check everything uh, before you're doing. Okay, we already uh, attached this uh, script into our body and Let's run the script. Before running the script, uh, you may want to check settings here. Uh, in preview uh, tab, we have open simulator debugger panel uh, option here. Don't forget to tick this, and uh, otherwise the debugger will not be run in real time. So save this scene and run the game and let the guy fall down. Yes, very unlucky. Okay, let's go for the uh, next step. Here is console. So uh, game is running. We are in runtime now. And let's try things. Test body. As you can see, a Chrome debug uh, just uh, shows me all options that I have now. This is very useful to uh, explore things actually we have a lot of option here normally you can see this menu uh, wider but uh, this is okay for this tutorial so I just uh, scale this window down so I want to add a force to rigid body 
to make it move rigid body that uh, apply immediately it shows the apply force to center and open parentheses I will use a vector to to apply the force I don't want to apply force on X axis and I will apply Y axis I just uh, applied these values and uh, those uh, are not enough so I added a lot of zeros and and zero actually we don't need to add zero uh, this is because this is a vector 2 x y and z uh, x just x and y then uh, i will apply uh, force and wake up the rigid body normally rigid bodies uh, became uh, asleep after uh, maybe half seconds or maybe one second after they stopped so um, it's better to use true when you apply a force as you can see we can test everything from this console yeah he looks pretty happy huh <laughs> something happened in uh, the feeds so um, maybe we can change the gravity so let's go to the documentation and maybe we can search gravity gravity yeah we have physics manager dot gravity so let's check it this is a vector 2 um, property so let's see how we can change the gravity here um, cc director dot get physics get get physics manager dot gravity equals actually we can just get the value and see what's the value of gravity now minus 320 so maybe we can double it you can uh, hit up arrow to see previous uh, values we entered here cc v2 uh, maybe x is 0 and y is minus 640 okay we will have strong gravity here so i will apply another force to guy and as you can see he drops faster maybe we can adjust gravity a little more okay yeah he falls faster than before so you can make any torture on it maybe you can apply some forces on x-axis also Yeah, this is pretty straightforward how to use this console and you can also explore uh, everything from here for example test body that we have different uh, options apply torque awake get uh, joint list whatever you want to see sometimes it's uh, much better than going to the uh, documentation and uh, this is uh, much better uh, in my opinion yeah this is the end for this quick tutorial and hope you like it and if you like it like it and subscribe to the channel and leave comments below so i i can know you are alive and uh, there thank you for watching see you on the next videos bye